there. And where the shadow is, make that a wee bit darker there. Okay. And then I have a brown jug, little brown jug. Okay. And I want a fresh colour, so I need a clean brush. And where the polka ducks are, I'm going to try and leave those white. I could cut those out to leave them white totally out of the piece but I want to leave them there for now because I want to see the white pigment being printed okay so I'm just going to paint the white in there a little bit more orangey okay and keep going just making that a wee bit darker Adding a little bit of blue into that brown to give it the kind of deep tones that I want. Okay. All right, now <coughs> my teapot, which is a beautiful red. Giving it a little bit of orange in there as well. Now I made a mistake with some of my scoring, but I've used a little bit of masking tape over the top of that where I made the mistake. Okay, I'm going to hopefully that will conceal those marks that I didn't want. I'm just going to keep this quite loose and painterly. All right. Okay, just add a bit more of the blue into that jug. And the stripes, bring those forward. deeper blue there okay so I've got my jug and my teapot now for the table mat no I'll do the wallpaper first I'm going to do a green for the background keep that quite loose Get a nice kind of acidy yellow in areas, keeping it loose, painterly. Whoops, my little brown jug there, I need to do the handle. I miss doing the handle. In. 
Lovely. Right, just go back and do the handle for my little brown jug. Hey, that's on. Okay, right. Wallpaper now, table mat. Okay, I'm going to keep this quite light. Do this orange table mat and put a lot of white in there. Let's clean my brushes up a wee bit. Okay, for the doily. I'm just picking that out with a pinky kind of white. Okay. Right, and then this beautiful orangey yellow for the table mat. Fast brush strokes. Okay. Now, and if you have a roller, you can just tidy up the surface, roll the pigment, pushing it across. And then the same with other areas of the print plate. Okay. And then the blue is in the red. Okay. Now we're going to take a print. Okay, so there's my print plate prepared. <coughs> Get rid of that paper. Get rid of my rags. I need my registration paper back down again. And place your pizza base. Okay, into the circle that you've already prepared, that you sketched around. Okay, now you're going to place your print paper edge to edge, corner to corner, and gently lay it down. Okay, don't move it. Take a little bit of masking tape, secure your paper. Okay, now. If you have a roller, you can use your roller, or you could use anything like this, which is um, from the kitchen roll, from cling film that you can use to roll. So we're adhering the ink to the surface, and something like that will do the job. You can use the soft flat of your hand and massage. I'm just going in circular motions. 
Now the one thing you have to bear in mind when you're preparing your plate is that everything is in mirror image. So if you're intending to use writing, typeface, letters, they must be back to front. Okay. Right, so firm, lovely soft motions. I'm going to lean in on it. This is a good workout for your arms and your hands. Every now and then have a little peek and see what we're getting. Okay, and where do I need to work further? Here. Okay, not enough ink coming up. That's looking a bit better. Okay, let's work over here. Right around the edge. I'm pressing quite firmly now. You can see that the back of the print is starting to stain, but the ink's coming through. A bit more where the jug is. Okay. All right. Let's lift it up and have a look. And there's my print. Okay. All right, I look forward to seeing how yours come out. Thank you for spending that time with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.